And now two students from Osen High School in Baringo North have been fitted as the best runners-up in the Young Kenya Scientists Award. The initiative gives young people from across Kenya an opportunity to demonstrate innovation and showcase their scientific talents through a national science and technology competition. Jessica Kiptalai and Betty Kimolos made a case for themselves by using Enryogo, a weed found in Baringo Highland, to make mouthwash used by their community for dental hygiene. Let's take a look at their innovation. Kaptalai and Betty Kimolos of Osen High School in Baringo County are celebrating after their mouthwash innovation project scooped awards in the Young Kenya Scientist Awards held online owing to COVID-19 safety protocols. In the rapid growth of the world of science and innovation, which seeks to solve problems faced by communities, the two came up with ways of using and wrinkle a weed found in Baringo Highlands for dental hygiene. Speaking after being fitted, the two said their curiosity was sparked after seeing their grandfather use the Enringol plant to brush his teeth. A research on the weed found the presence of vitamin C and chloride which aid in dental hygiene. And the aim of our project was to make organic mouthwash. After we had extracted the roots of the plant, or the Rango plant, we were able to obtain the filtrate. And in the filtrate, we tested the presence of chloride ions, the oxidizing agents, and vitamin C. And all of them were present. The extract from this plant, its solution. We, if you test this solution, like for us, we test the presence of vitamins, oxidizing agent, and a chloride. Then we tested using the Diclofenoc and phenol, that was CPIP. We tested for vitamin C and it was present. That vitamin C helps to neutralize the oxygen form produced by cellular metabolism by the food in the mouth. It neutralizes the oxygen. Then the chloride is present, helps to reduce the acid formed by bacteria in the mouth, which causes tooth plaque. Osen High School principal Rosemary Kuto said they are excited to play a critical role in assisting the country attain Vision 2030. For the country to achieve Vision 2030, it takes science and technology um, towards the same. And so as a school, we are so privileged that we have taken seriously um, to nurture our young girls to become young scientists with the hope that they're going to um, provide solutions to some of the challenges in a dynamic society. The Young Scientist Kenya is an initiative of both the Ministry of Health and the Government of Ireland through the Embassy of Kenya and with the support from Blaze by Safaricom and other partners. For Channel One News, I'm Gladys Mungai.